Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Dover version 2 map. And I've never played on this map before. I have seen it in posts online. And um, from watching other Red Alert channels and stuff, I have actually seen this uh, map being played, Dover. But I've never played it myself. And it is an RAGL12 map, so it is a map that any competitive player should practice. Uh, should practice on because obviously the skilled red alert global league players if this map's part of the map pool they'll all be skilled and practiced on it so any competitive player should be used to playing on this map and i remember when i saw it being used online i remember the commentators mentioning this middle bit because one of them had lost a game by having their army caught out of out of position because of this central bit you know, and uh, I think, in fact, I saw something similar happen in that post because some units got caught one side and some units were the other side when an engagement started. So one player's army was caught, caught out by this. So we'll see if anything similar happens in this one. But I'm using Russia and my opponent's using Ukraine by the looks of that. Yes, I'm Russia, my opponent's U Ukraine. And I've taken my closest oil derrick, but it looks like my opponent's gone, we've got a rifle clash here, and he moved into me, which gives the defender the advantage. But he's actually capturing this oil derrick, and we've got a close one each, but this one here is like the contestable one, but I am aware he's got units around it, so that's why I've paused my engineer. He's holding position for now, I'm not sending him anywhere near that. And I can't approach from this side with rifles because they've got the view range advantage. So what my idea was to go this way and here. But I wanted to wait for my scout vehicle before I properly engaged. But this happened when I was waiting in position look. Managed to catch these guys. But he was blind firing. You see, um, I can't see look. He's firing into the shroud. You see, he's still doing it look. He's shooting here because you can fire further than you can see. So if you select these men, hold control, and press attack, you can shoot at the ground. So you can fire blind like that. It's not a tactic I use myself, but you just saw a small group of men push back a larger group because, because of the blind fire uh, tactic he used. So, you know, it does work. I, I just, uh, I should start using it. But have I revealed anything... No, I've got some scouts, but obviously some of my rifle scouts ran into opposition. But I've got a guy up here. Um, I haven't revealed any enemy positions yet, though. No, I haven't revealed any of the enemy structures. No, no scouts have successfully reached there yet. But I'm sending more units out. My opponent hasn't seen my base either yet. But now I've got my scout vehicle and my engineer is in it. And I'm sending rifle scouts out further, but I caught these guys out. That was nicely. He's right to get out of there because, look, that was a lovely crush. And I thought, double back on him and get some... Yeah, and that was a lovely squish. But I thought, I'll pursue him, just let the engineer out, and then pursue him. Because the engineer needs to capture this. But I changed my mind, and it is a good job I did, look, because they'd have blown that away. Very good job. If I'd have see if he'd have left the rifleman there, it would have baited me. So uh, that's an interesting, useful little uh, tip there. I remember. I'll remember that um, because if he'd have left that rifleman, I'd have followed it and just caught up and killed him. And these guys could have sniped my APC, leaving me without an early scout vehicle. He's got on a flak truck. Look. Um, and I'm building my second early war factory build. So after my service depot, I'm building my second war factory. And he's bringing in his flak truck lock. But I haven't got anywhere near enough infantry to make it worth using my APC as a screening vehicle. I saw this flak truck and thought I'd catch it. But look, I used an attack move instead of move. So my APC just stood there instead of running out of the way. Um, it's possible I may have made it. But yeah, well, I fumbled an attack move instead of a move command. The one time I wanted move instead of attack move, and that's what you get. Dear me. 
But yeah, I've got my second war factory look now. My base, I'm not used to this map, so my base is getting quite compact. And I stuck to my three um, refineries, even though there's only one patch. So normally you would use two refineries. But because I was going for my early second war factory build, I didn't want to alter it and mess around with it. Either use it or go with my standard build, I thought, because I don't know this map. That's why I didn't put extra pressure on myself and use allies as well. But here we go, my opponent's ordered a mine layer, and my rifleman has spotted that straight away. And the rifleman is here to prevent, uh, to spot base pushes and things like that, but it also reveals these pesky little mine layers. Look, you get the ability with the to build with the service depot as soon as you place it you get the ability to build mine layers and if you're allies you get the ability to build mechanics as well which are excellent i nearly caught it i set up that ambush for it look that's what they're there for yeah they bumped into these guys but that's what they were there he just escaped look but if you look here i've got a tank and now another one come in he hasn't so he hasn't got a hope of winning that engagement not with a flat truck Two shots, two double-barreled salvos from a heavy tank. And I thought, right, I can pursue into that because uh, it, he's left without any scout vehicles, I thought, uh, screening vehicles. And I thought, well, he might be bringing more units to help them as well, so I'll just roll them up, basically. But I didn't know he'd been uh, caught against that. But I did actually keep grouping units. Look, I'm bringing tanks. But I'm setting up an expansion as soon as I'm able to... Yeah, I'm nearly able to replace a refinery. But my money situation was difficult at this point. Look, I've got zero cash. But here we go. Army values. My opponent's got 14 just now to 13,000. I've got a 10,000 army value army. Look, I slaughtered them. So you do. If you get caught there against with your back to the wall, that's not good. He could have got his tanks into a screening position. But look, I've got one up front. Your tanks need to shoot tanks. His, his tanks were shooting at my infantry for a lot of that. Now, you can't do that because it's wasted shots. Yeah, they're still doing their screening work, but they're wasted shots. And that's reminded me about something I mentioned in a previous post about making proper use of veteran units. And here we go, look, I've seen his oil derrick, his closest one, and thought, right, I'll destroy that, and it will leave me at an advantage of one. And I'm sending units from my barracks and war factory to reinforce this. But I also ordered a mine layer look, and that's to clear this area here, because he's laid a fair few mines look with that mine layer, but he has forgotten and left it there. If you don't tell it to, it will stay where you leave it when you finish ordering those mines. But there you go, look, up. the mine layer will reveal it. The mine layer will reveal it to me, uh, the enemy mines look, and that's why I've sent these rifles, because they can then attack move over here and destroy any mines on the way, because he will reveal mines within this circle look. So those mines are invisible. I can't see them until this mine layer of mine is uh, gets them the, the enemy mines within that circle. Right, I sent a small force to investigate, and they got caught. Uh, here's my here are my defenders uh, moving up here. But when I started to move out, I bumped into the enemy there and thought, right, if he's on the move, I need to get a defence here ready. So, uh, and I brought these back. I'm not making any pointless mistakes. I'm actually sticking to it defen uh, defensive, solid fight, defensive tactics. And then my attacks are going to be planned and well planned and stuff. No stupid mistakes and flailing around. But there you go, I've got rid of those mines, look. So I can expand to there if I ever need to. Now I've harvest this, harvested this ore field quite quickly because I needed it. But... My scouts are revealing, my rifle guards and stuff are revealing the enemy approach, and he's brought a, uh, he's brought an MCV, so it's a base push, which is very good. Now he's at twenty thousand, I'm at eighteen, so he's been ahead of me in army value. There's a nice crush, but I'm not freaking out. I can see his army is massive, and I actually considered sending all my harvesters to screen me, but there's a, a barracks being placed, base defences around him. They're doomed. And they are on attack move as well. So that was a mistake. This is a good position, but 
he's got less units there than he could have had. Now I'm bringing my tanks up front into position to overrun this, and I know immediately I can overrun that. No problem. But I need to get some of my ore trucks into a better position. And I've got my expansion set up. Now I've taken the lead in army value. But this, there you see, I wasn't letting that get away. And then now, watch, I'm just going to destroy the husk. I'm not allies, so I can't um, st uh, use a mechanic to steal the wreck. But, in case my enemy was, in case, he's not in this case, but if my enemy ever is allies, I destroy the wrecks of MCVs. If I can't take them myself, and see I'm destroying that power plant, then I always finish off the wreck. If I can't make use of the wreck myself, finish them off if you can. And that's the wrecks of all trucks, MCVs, the enemy tanks. If the engagement's over and you're left with stuff like a husk there, if you know they're allies, you have to destroy them. But it's good to get into the habit anyway of destroying husks whenever you get a chance. But I've got a small force here, look, moving up. They're going to intercept any enemy reinforcements going from his main base over to this area to reinforce it. And I'm not destroying the oil derrick and the refinery, because I want them. Now, that power plant still hung on. But here's an engineer on site immediately to steal the ore refinery and then the oil derrick. So that will give me two to zero in oil derricks. And uh, nothing happened down here in the end. Although he did get a couple of tanks around there to attack my service depot. Now, I've put primary production here so that my rocket troops can be trained and just kill these tanks because you only need to uh, train a few rockets and it will drive them off no problem but their heavy tanks guns are lethal they will kill all trucks and structures very quickly even just two of them um, will slaughter stuff and I thought that was a likely place he was going to expand to this ore field here so that's why I attacked straight there rather than going for his home base and he knows what direction I'm coming, look. And my engineer's on its way to capture. But these guys here got engaged. And I need to use stop command uh, immediately. There you go, look. See, most of them aren't in attack move. Only some to bring the rest into formation. But as soon as you engage the enemy with the units, press stop. Stop command. Straight away. Unless you're overrunning them like this. But he's called GG. I've got the capture on. And there you go, There's uh, that's my first multiplayer game of the day I thought I'd show you. But I've just got access to the tech, um, because I've got the radar dome, and my I was building, there's Thieves Lock. So while I had this uh, refinery here, I remembered to reset the capture on it. So I was doing the chokehold actually, uh, on that refinery there, just in case the enemy didn't want to die or I failed and overcommitted and lost my army, just in case I had control of their cash supply and I was building a thief look, so a thief would have moved from here, he's already set look, straight to there, to the refinery, a, a stream of thieves would have gone up there and units would have protected the area, these would have continued to distract the enemy and this guy, I was aware and I was resetting the capture bar with it. I did it, I'm sure I did it at least once and reset the capture bar, and there you go, there's your proof that I was aware of what was going on. I was building thieves, and I've ordered primary production here. So that was the chokehold in progress. First thing I do when I get tech, when I get the chance, but look, there, that's a captured enemy refinery, right next to an oil derrick. That's a nice little piece of, uh, that's a nice little couple of assets to capture there, because it saves me building a refinery here. Because I still need cash, I was in a pretty bad cash situation. That's why I've got these two ore trucks going to harvest this ore patch and they can use that captured refinery. So it worked really well. It was an effective first game on that map, I really liked it. But I'll go through the graphs and charts. Here's the army graph. And look, we were even, but my opponent was actually ahead of me. He was ahead of me uh, for... After the first few minutes, he gained a lead in army value. And he was ahead of me for a few minutes there, a good amount ahead. And then I, it looks like there's been an engagement and I took a bit of a lead. But he did also go ahead, uh, go ahead of me in army value a little bit as well, just before 10 minutes. But then there was a big, the main engagement here, obviously, and he's lost his army value down to about eight grand, roughly. Maybe eight and a half, nearly, not quite eight and a half grand army value. And at the same time, I had 
like a 16, seven, a 16 and a half army grand, army value at the same time. But there's the army graph you can see, you know, but we were both increasing in army value towards the end. He engaged me with quite a decent force. It was just he shouldn't have headed this way to, in, to attack me and engage here, although it is a good piece of terrain to use because I moved from destroying this expansion and I went down this way here. And he knew that, and he sent units to wait for me. But, <clears throat> excuse me, if I was him, I would have actually stayed within my base because he knew I was coming. So he could have attacked me before with the his building's view range and his units behind his buildings. He could have started attacking me before I could see his units. And that may have uh, kept him in the fight. But I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I did have the chokehold um in progress as uh as i like as i said and there you go there's the closest refined closest barracks but i would probably have moved this construction yard a little closer um possibly the placement of my construction yards isn't very good i should have used this one to expand further and the home base mcv should probably have stayed where it was to be fair so it could expand down here and then that way I would have made use of the fact that not only have I stopped his mine layer and destroyed the mines he's laid, <clears throat> it would have actually been of benefit to me. Because as it stands, he laid mines there. Now that was a waste because I didn't end up uh, expanding to that patch. But the fact, <clears throat> excuse me again, but the fact that I built a mine layer to deal with it meant that I've invested in clearing that or patch myself. So he did invest in denying it i uh, cleared it and paid for it so i should uh, really have expanded uh, and made use of it but it just happened that i ended up because i won this engagement near the center and wanted to capture this and then got the opportunity to move on i ended up moving this way and the thing is the engagement started here with an enemy attack that's why i've anchored that construction yard there and i didn't move it because i was thinking he's attacked there that's where i need defenses but i should have immediately have realized you don't need that there this will this is build radius it can fall back and provide both bases with build radius if needed he should be there by now but there's the army graph for you anyway look you both increasing in army size all the way except for that harsh bit of damage there but that's a good a good 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 army graph that one and here's the earnings graph look at my dip in earnings because i was down to very little cash i was down to zero anyway for quite a while i had to sell one of my three refineries look one of my starting refineries i was lucky and i had it ended up where i consumed this ore field very quickly because it's the only one i was uh, mining from so my opponent chose exactly the right target he was just slightly late in doing so but look at that dip in my earnings that's a that's a big problem that is <clears throat> that's a bad that's a an appointment at the bank that is <clears throat> but uh army my finishing army 10 heavy tanks i've got my mine layer and basic amount of infantry it's a decent finishing army here's the combat chart my opponent killed 116 units, I killed 247, so that's, um, yeah, that was a bit bad for my opponent, that's, <clears throat> it looks worse than it was, uh, I think, but he, uh, it was just the fact that he could have made a better uh, go of this last defensive battle, it may have kept him in the game, and you never know, he, I might have messed up the... <laughs> the uh, chokehold but it would have needed me to make a mistake for my opponent to come back from that situation but i've got a 26 grand army value to finish with and i l lost one structure my opponent lost eight so i've lost a structure here more than likely um but no support powers in effect because i haven't got an airfield yet uh production is still well and truly underway thieves heavy tank defenses and barracks because obviously i'm trying to build a barracks and take my construction yard closer to the front line for the chokehold uh economy economy chart uh tab for you so economy wise see i'm down to one credit you know my cash situation wasn't good because there was only one starting field it's not it doesn't suit this build i don't think this map there's plenty of ore on it and it's a good size but i don't think because of the starting ore i don't think this double uh, early war factory build suits this map it just gives you it makes the uh need for money a bit it's a bit uh a bit risky i think 
the uh, the income supply early in the game. I think it's a bit risky on this map for this build order. But I earn eighty one thousand. My opponent no, my opponent earned eighty one, and I earned seventy nine. So he earned more cash than me. He had a better, a far better time financially. He spent eighty three, and I spent eighty four. But you know, he earned a bit of cash, and uh, like with my zeroing out at one point, you know, he he's probably had a far more stable economy than I. But there's the economy tab, here's the basic, 21 actions per minute for my opponent, 27 for me. Um, value of destroyed, 24,000 to my opponent, 51,000. I'll just check the combat, yeah, 51, 24. Um, there you go, my opponent's got more cash than me. So I was uh, lucky that that lack of income didn't uh, stall me to the extent where I actually, like, lost the game all of a sudden but yeah these captured refineries would have come in handy if the game went on and also having access to my opponent's money supply that would have sorted things right out if it had gone on so i'll leave it there for now i hope um you enjoyed watching the game i enjoyed it it's uh, like i say my first multiplayer game of the day and my first time using this map so if you like what you saw give us a sub and a like and take good care of yourselves and until next time Thank you very much and goodbye. Battle control terminated.